Hey guys, so today I am going to teach you how to style and curl the mom bob. Stick with me. Hey guys! Okay, so I have had long hair for as long as I can remember, but I recently decided I wanted to change, and so I decided to chop my hair off, and I have what I call the mom bob. Um, but it can be super trendy and cute. You just have to know how to style it correctly. So these are like beachy waves, and it's super easy. I will teach you, and you should be able to master this hairstyle in about 10 minutes. So let's begin. So to get started, I like to divide my hair into three different parts for curling. I clip up the top two portions, leaving just this bottom layer out. Now because my hair is freshly washed, I like to spray some sort of texturizing dry shampoo spray to really help hold my curls. My favorite kind is the Orbe Texturizing Dry Shampoo. It really gives just the right amount of grit to actually hold your curls in place and it smells amazing. Next, I take about one inch sections of hair and I start my wand about halfway up my hair and begin to wrap it around the wand, leaving just the bottom out. This is crucial for achieving that messier, beachy look versus curling it all the way to the bottom of the hair, which would give you more of a Shirley Temple look. Not exactly the look that we're going for. So I repeat this step over the entire bottom half of my hair. Now one thing I want to point out is my curling iron. So this curling iron gives me great results. It's the Hot Tools 1 inch professional iron. I've linked this exact same curling iron below in the description. But it has a temperature setting that you can adjust according to the heat settings that works best for your hair. I personally like my iron at about 325 degrees. So now I divide the portion that's been clipped up in half. Now with this middle section, I like to begin a technique where you alternate the way that you're curling each section of hair. Starting closest to the hair that frames your face, you always want to make sure that you're curling away from your face. As you can see, the next strand of hair, I'm curling towards my face. So I'm really alternating between each strand, back and forth, back and forth. You can see that I'm moving my wand away from my face. This way, it really allows the curl to frame your face versus hiding your face. Now the reason I alternate the curling method is because it helps to not give you that one clump curl look. If you alternate the direction of your curls, it gives you more of a full, separated, beachier wave. Okay, so now to the top section. Even though I rarely fix my short hair with a middle part, I still like to curl my hair having it parted down the middle. Again, starting with the section that's closest to my face, I'm curling away from my face. You can see I don't leave the wand on my hair for very long. My hairdresser once said that you wouldn't want to leave your iron on your clothing for very long because it would ruin the fabric. Well, the same applies to your hair. As you can see, I leave it like two to three seconds max before taking it off my hair just so that I make sure that it's not damaged, but it still gives me a nice curl and hold. So I like to pull my wand down once I've curled each section. This helps to just train the curl to fall in the right direction. Finally, hairspray your whole head. I've linked my favorite hairspray. It's kind of a medium hold. It's the Redken 12. 
It's listed below, but let it set for a few seconds before you work your hands through it. Okay, I lived in Dallas, I like big hair, and I think that a short hairstyle really needs a tease. So I like to just section off my hair and really backcomb it to give it extra volume. Now if you really want to perfect the ends, you can take a pomade like the one that I've linked below and just use a little at the ends to separate it and give it more of a textured look. Alright, so there you have it. This is how I style my hair. It's super easy. Um, I like to kind of finish it off by hairspraying the whole entire look, but also you can tuck one side behind your ear or you can even bobby pin it to kind of give it more of a sophisticated look on one side. Um, sometimes I'll braid just a tiny bit and just um, pin it back as well and that kind of gives it more of a feminine, boho, chic look as well. Um, so there you have it. That is the easiest way to style and curl the beachy waves for short hair. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel, hit like, share with all your friends. We'll see you next time.